I always reach from spiritual and angelic guidance. I'm here to do a reading and this will be for Cancer for the 8th to the 14th of March. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. It's not going to suit every single person out there. It's just a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time is fluid and energy can be vice versa. Um, for this reading, I'm going to be using getting a card from this deck, the Guardian Angel deck. I'll also be getting um, a card from the Romance Angels and a card from the Wisdom of the Oracles. And then finish with a bit of tarot. Okay, Cancer. Tell me about Cancer, the 8th and the 14th. Do you know that's the only reading so far? I've done six readings. This will be my seventh. And this is the only reading where one card's flown out. All the others have had multiple cards fly out. Um, so on the bottom of the deck, you've got a win-win solution. This is the same as the Temperance card. It's all about divine timing. So there's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise, working together, stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. It's all about balance, moderation, patience, harmony, self-control with the temperance card. You've also got the five of action. So this is the same as the five of wands. So this is all about there could have been some conflict, disagreements, competition. You might be going through court. You don't know where you stand with the situation. Um, there may be tension. It says your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama into your life. Maybe it's letting you know that you can have a win-win solution with somebody. But... Whatever you're going through at the moment, be assertive, be self-confident, stand up for yourself. Don't let people walk all over you in, in relationships and things. Cancer. Tell me about cancer. Oh, you've got a soulmate coming in. Somebody isn't making the effort and you're definitely not forgiving and learning about a situation. Um... You will, but I feel like you might be working on becoming less codependent. But yeah, you definitely have a soulmate coming in, which is great. Now, soulmates are people that we have lessons with. Um, soulmates are generally people that come into our lives. Unfortunately, we learn horrible lessons from each other and then we move on. That is generally what a soulmate is. So somebody may have been in your life as a soulmate to teach you something. And maybe this person didn't make the effort, as I said. And maybe you haven't forgiven and learnt from this situation. So you're going to keep repeating the pattern. Yeah. All right. Can I have a card for cancer, please? Top wood, and on the bottom, time to go. It's like you don't want to release a situation, as I said, with it in reverse. Um, so we'll start with, we might start with that one, actually. We might start with the time to go card. Um, so this is where you've reached the end of the line. All is lost. That's how you feel. You're in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but that is natural as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. Um, I feel like, though, it's like maybe that you're not trusting that it's time to go either. I feel like for a lot of you, there's a situation where... This relationship is no longer of service to you. and But you don't want to let it go. You are holding on to something that you should let go of. Um, I mean, they have that saying, 
you know, if you love something, let it go. If it returns or if it comes back, then it's, it was yours. If not, it never was. And um, But I feel like you're not wanting to let something go. You're not wanting to walk away from something. Now, you've also got chop wood. And this is um, upright. So that's all about being grounded, humility. Um, and it's like nothing is more important right now, just doing what you need to day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate or obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when that everyday tasks are at the centre of awareness. This is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into, each, into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple. Just be present. Funny how it takes work to just be all is well, really. And I feel like even if it's not about a relationship, it's just saying, just enjoy breathing for now. Like you don't have to be doing something all the time. You don't have to be looking for a relationship. You don't have to be out there, you know, making things happen. You can just be. And I feel like it's even if it's not a relationship, it's just telling you just to just be right now. Yeah, you're definitely resisting stalling, letting something go because that card just popped out and it's somebody that's like a devil. As I said, this person is a soulmate because they've come into your life to teach you something and that's why it's telling you to stand your ground, defend your position, be self-confident. Um, yeah. It's all for a reason. You're just not wanting to let it go. Oh, cancer. You need to take back power in your own life. As I keep saying, and trust your intuition. You're not trusting your intuition right now either. Uh, and you're not wanting to walk away from a situation. You feel like you didn't get any kind of closure in this situation. Um, you've got absolution though. There was some sort of uh, final decision made or some wake up call, some clarity about a situation. Um, and now you're nurturing you. And also, I mean, you could, for some of you, be pregnant or have kids with this person. But for others, it's just about knowing you're beautiful. People find you attractive. Um, just nurture you for now. Um, I feel like you don't want to see. You don't want to make this positive movement forward. I feel like you don't. You're too focused on this particular situation. Instead of you widening your knowledge and learning what you have to, I feel like you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to make a positive movement forward. You don't want to progress. You don't want to move on. As I said, you don't want to let it go. Um, and maybe that's due to you being selfish, ego. Maybe you're just hesitant. You don't want to break a cycle, but you need to. Because that's what soulmates are. Soulmates are people that we, we learn lessons from and then we move on and then we find the person that is for us. we got to learn these lessons along the way. And unfortunately, this is one of yours. You didn't see past what somebody actually, like what they're saying. You didn't see past that. You didn't see past the illusion of what they portray to be. Um, you didn't trust your intuition about that either. Um, there were things going on behind the scenes maybe you didn't know about as well. But I feel like somebody was juggling too many things, too many people. Um and you feel like you're in denial about that as i said you don't want to see I said this a minute ago you don't want to see what what was happening um you don't want to release it either clarify those cards i mean i think i've already established the situation you don't want to let go of something that is your soulmate you feel like you need closure you haven't forgiven and learned. They were juggling people or some they were juggling something. So let tell me more about taking back your own power. Six of Wands, um, this comes back to your lack of confidence and somebody's ego, as I said. Knight of Wands, um, Somebody, I mean, it could cause you to have scattered energy. You might feel frustrated. You might feel jealous, um, all of those things. But you also, 
you've got page of pentacles so i feel like you need to learn and manifest what it is you do want maybe you become a student again for some of you but i feel like for a lot of you it's more about manifesting what you want instead of what you don't want two of swords this keeps keeps coming up you're weighing up your options you're trying to avoid making a decision but you need to make one this person is not for your highest good it is going to i mean you felt like you were doing everything in the situation you're feeling burnt out overwhelmed you feel like you need some sort of closure yeah you got some um clarity for sure but you've also got clouded judgment like maybe you're remembering all the good times but are you remembering the bad times you're remembering all the crap they really did to you um so there are obstacles you need to take back your own power as i said um, in a situation you are very defending yourself you have got courage and strength and resilience and persistence to to kind of put up your boundaries and move on and you will then attract somebody uh, you're working on you but also you are going to attract either a new opportunity or it could be a new fiery passion at the beginning um, but you've got to have absolution and completion in a situation um, you're not really making a positive movement forward. As I said, you're not learning. You're not wanting to see. You're too focused on this situation. Three of Wands. It's easy to stay in your comfort zone. You maybe have lack of foresight as well. There's frustration because you want your Knight of your Prince Charming, your Knight of Cups. You want that. Um, you are going to release your baggage and move on from this situation. And then you will attract someone some new situation, as I said. Um, you don't want to see past their illusion of the person that they owe you the interest or intuition. There are things going on behind the scenes. But you are going to move on. And if you don't, the universe will make it happen. The tower. This is a sudden unwanted change. It can be a revelation, an awakening, upheaval, some ruin. But you've got to take back your own power from a situation where they left you out in the cold. And work on you. Get some self-care, some self-love, some self-worth, all those things. Anyway, that is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next reading. Thanks for watching.